that this podcast will show you how you do a ray diagram for the situation when the object lies within a focal uh, distance from the lens. And here uh, you can see the object distance is 5 centimeters, the focal length is 8 centimeters. So we begin, uh, as always, drawing a ray which would come in parallel to the principal axis. That ray will pass through the focal point on the opposite side. Uh, a ray which would uh, normally come from a direction let's say from the focal point, okay, something like this right here, through the tip of the candle, would come out parallel to the lens like this, and one which would pass through the center of the lens, again, would pass through undiverged. So those are the three rays that we draw. Now, where do we see those rays coming from? If you take a look, if your eye was out here looking back at the lens, notice the light rays don't converge, so they're not really forming light on this side of the lens. So all you can do is you can look back and look along that direction, okay, to see where the light looks like it's coming from. Now, if you follow those rays back, they'll cross at a point back behind the lens. Let's try this. We'll try one coming straight back like this. We'll try this one coming straight back like this. And we'll try this one uh, coming straight back like this. And notice that all three of them would seem to cross um, approximately at that position right there. Well, that's where our candle flame would be. That's where we see the tip of the candle flame. And so in this case, uh, you can see that this acts like a magnifying glass. The candle is going to appear uh, upright. It's going to be a virtual image because the light's not really coming from that position, and it's going to be magnified. Uh, if we do the math to see how that works out, uh, we would have 1 over P plus 1 over Q equals 1 over the focal distance. And in this case, that's going to be 1 fifth plus 1 over Q is equal to uh, 1 eighth or 1 over Q is going to be 1 eighth minus 1 fifth. That ends up uh, equaling uh, negative 0 0.075. And inverting that, we see that Q is going to equal negative 13.33. OK, the negative sign means that the image lies on this side of the lens. OK, Q is negative uh, in the front of a lens. All right, so this is negative 13.33 centimeters. The magnification in this case is going to be negative Q, which is negative 13.33 over P. Uh, and in this case, uh, P was 5 centimeters. So if you work that out, uh, that's going to be negative 2.66. Uh, the negative sign, or the positive sign, uh, in this case indicates that the image is upright, and 2.66 is the magnification. This is about 2.5 times as tall as that candle. All right, that's how you uh, locate the virtual image when the object is within a focal length of a lens.